<laughs> Making sure nothing fell out of the uh, ceiling when you say. said that. Because y'all got to bring my button back. Shaq, Shaq led you into that perfectly. I've got one of yours in my office. Yeah, bring it back. I want. I'm just time for me to start guaranteeing some games. Okay, I'll do that. I'll, I'll bring it. I'll, I'll bring. I'll bring the buzzer back in here for halftime in case uh, you, you feel the need. Oh. Okay, later tonight, Memphis Grizzlies, Los Angeles Lakers, Game Four. In LA. Game three was an emotional game for the Lakers. You got people talking smack, and you know, you got a couple of veterans that realize they didn't play well. So, usually, when there's veterans, you know, we don't play well. And we go home, read the paper, you know, listen to guys on ESPN. We, we come back a little bit inspired. <laughs> they came back inspired. They had a hell of a first quarter. 35 to 9. Yeah, they, listen, they were upset. It was. It was really refreshing to see AD say, I didn't play well, only have 14 points. We're not going to win with me playing like that. I like the responsibility of, of him saying that. Now, reality has kicked in. Game four, can you bring the emotion from game three to game four? Everybody's killing Dylan Brooks on how bad he's playing. He's doing a good game. He's not really that whole bad of a player, but give a guy like that open shots he can, and you know we'll, we'll hit him. This happened the other day, so. You know, Memphis is going to be trying to get a win. John ja Moran had an unbelievable fourth quarter, so they're going to be coming in. They're young and they're fights the team. So the question is, can the Lakers bottle up what they did in game three and bring it over to game four? If they can do that, I see them winning. But yeah, we, we shall see. Yeah, Ja had 45 in that game three loss. They were down by, what, as many as 29. They did close it to nine, but that game was, uh, was out of hand. Well... I'm glad to, the NBA didn't suspend him. I thought that was a 100% accident, personally. I, I'm glad the NBA didn't screw up and suspended him. Ernie, I ain't going to lie. I'll be shocked if the Lakers lose tonight. I think they got to go. I think they're going to put their foot on their neck and they get like, hey, man, quit screwing around. We at home. Because if they mess around and go back to Memphis 2-2, anything can happen. But I'll be totally shocked if the Lakers don't win tonight. Uh, you know, the one thing that, I, I, that Memphis is missing is the interior easy baskets. You know, the alley-oops to Clark, the putbacks by Steven Adams. The rebounds. Yeah. And, and that, that allowed space for those 45 points that John ja Moran is getting. You know, and there's no space for that anymore. Uh, he's got to consistently score. And I, I think that, that's going to be the difference in the series. If they win tonight or not, I think the Lakers have the huge advantage. Uh, Rui Hachimura, by the way. Uh, 65 points off the bench for the Lakers. Grizzlies as a team have 60 off the bench in the series. Lakers looking for a 3-1 lead over Memphis. You, uh, you guarantee, I know the, I don't have the button out here, but you guarantee. The Lakers are going to win tonight. Guarantee! <laughs> oh, not again. I knew something was coming. Is it is, it try, um, is there just an <laughs> unlimited number of ping pong balls up in our? <laughs> Got them. <laughs> you asked for it. I knew that there was going to be something coming. <laughs> I didn't know if they were dolls or ping pong oh. balls. Man, that is such a chore for the crew in here, too. Thank you, Ernie.